Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a haul. I have a fall decor haul for you. Everything is from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, or Target, the four best stores in the world. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. If you missed my shop with me, I will link it down below. We went shopping with my mom, and there was lots of fun fall inspo, so go check that video out if you haven't already, but I'm going to show you guys everything that I actually bought. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and and get started. The first thing that I purchased is one of my favorite things. I am so excited about this pumpkin. Here's what it looks like. You guys probably saw this in the shop with me. This was from Home Goods. This is from the brand, I don't know if this has a brand actually, Decorative Outdoor Safe Pumpkins. That's all it says on the tag. But this was $34.99 from Home Goods. A thousand percent worth it if you ask me. I love how natural it looks. Like it's all like lopsided and not perfect, but I feel like that makes it so cool. It's pretty heavy and it's made out of a breakable material. So <laughs> be careful if you see this, but here, you can kind of hear my ring against it, but it's so cute. It's like a light cream kind of color. It almost has a green hue to it, but I think this is going to look so cute on, well, it's not really a porch. Is that a porch? It's like a front little patio thing. I don't know, but <laughs> outside her front door, I think it's going to look so cute. So this was the first thing that I bought. And again, this is like one of my favorite items from this haul. So I just finished filming this video and I needed to uh, say something because I totally forgot to mention it and I had to mention it in this haul. So if you guys saw the shop with me, you saw that I bought a costume for Poncho. My mom found it in like the queue line at Marshall's and it's a little like poncho with a sombrero and it's the cutest thing ever and it's it's just so like I ironic maybe because poncho's name is poncho and it's literally a poncho and sombrero and it's so cute so he tried it on and i'm gonna insert pictures here so you guys can see how freaking cute he was in his costume um he was like a little bit weirded out by it at first but then i think he ended up liking it and he looked so cute so we're gonna have to like take a picture with him when we dress up for halloween this year and yeah i just wanted to throw this little clip in here but um this was just like a short break from the haul but anyway continuing on with the haul i'm also going to be filming a fall decorate with me i have to get jarvis to get the fall stuff out of the attic but stay tuned for that video i can't wait to decorate this house for fall i also can't wait to decorate for christmas i'm just excited to decorate seasonally because we haven't been able to decorate seasonally in this house yet because we moved here in march so yeah stay tuned for that next i picked up some socks i bought these for my fall decorate with me <laughs> i'm gonna wear these pumpkin ones and then i told jarvis he could have these but i don't think he was too thrilled but i think i think deep down he'll be thankful for the fuzzy socks so <laughs> i got the happy halloween slipper socks these were 12.99 which is kind of a lot but they do have the little grippy things on the bottom so Hopefully they last me a decent amount of time. I just thought that they were so cute. The pumpkins are adorable and I will make it a point to show these in my fall decorate with me. Also, sorry if the lighting is weird. I'm filming in a different place. I felt like my regular filming setup was just not the vibe for a fall decor haul. So I'm sitting on the floor in front of this thing. This is from Target in case anyone's wondering. This is from Marshall's, the plant holder. And then I have plants and just some other small things. But yeah, this is from Target. The round mirror up there, I don't think you can see that. That's also from Target. But I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. I also wore a fall colored sweatshirt because again, fall vibes. Next, I sort of spoke these into existence. If you guys saw the shop with me, I found some mushroom towels. I was looking for some fall towels for the kitchen and I was not sure what I wanted exactly. I was like, it has to be so cute. And then I, at like the third or fourth store, I was like, you know what? I feel like a mushroom towel would be cute. And as I was saying that, I spotted these. So these have mushrooms and pumpkins on them. They're so cute. I love the colors. Everything about this is perfect. Like this, 
feel like this was made for me. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I love mushrooms and I feel like I like mushrooms all year long, but I feel like they're very fall. So um, I was so happy to see this. This was $9.99 and it's three towels. So you get two of these, one on each side. And then the middle one is just like this white and yellow, like plaid-ish type pattern. But they're so cute and they feel really nice. I feel like these will be good at drying your hands or drying things actually. Sometimes kitchen towels are cute but not functional, but I feel like those are gonna be functional. I have a few more pumpkins to show you. So I got these pumpkins. They're so cute. Again, they're kind of the more like natural looking pumpkins, but they're pink. And these ones I think are made out of like wood or something. I don't know they're not the same material as the big one but i think they're the same brand yeah they're the same brand but definitely oh is that the same no it's a different material <laughs> i think i don't know it's probably not no this is definitely made out of some like pottery like clay or something i can tell by the like seam here but this was 9.99 how cute is that i am so obsessed and then we have this one which this one i think this one might be made out of wood. <laughs> this one didn't have the same tag on it. I don't know if that means it's not the same brand, but it was very similar. This one was $6.99, this one was $9.99. This one's a little bit smaller, but I thought that they were so cute. I'll probably keep these ones inside and put the big like white-ish, greenish one outside along with like a real pumpkin. I think that would be so cute. Um, and then I also want a wreath. I want a wreath for the front door, but I just, I, I looked for one, but I just couldn't find one that I thought was perfect. And wreaths are so expensive. The cheapest one was like $35, which to me, that's expensive for a decor thing. Like for a wreath, I guess. I know I spent $35 on that pumpkin, but the pumpkin's different, you know? <laughs> um, so I got those two little pumpkins. Then I picked up these, which these are not fall decor, but they kind of are. These are body scrubs. These are from Asquith and Somerset. Are there any OGs that remember my obsession with Asquith and Somerset? <laughs> I used to have like 30 of their scrubs. I always got them from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. These were $5.99 and these ones are like little like spooky kind of ones. So this one has little pink ghosts on it and it says you are fabulous. I just thought that was cute. And then this one says, what's up witches? And again, just super cute. I figured we could put one in our bathroom, one in our guest bathroom. Not that anyone ever really uses our guest bathroom unless we have someone over, which doesn't happen very often. Um, <laughs> but I just thought that they were so cute and those are definitely more like Halloween kind of vibes. So far, everything I've shown you is, I would say more fall besides the socks. I also picked up a few candles. This first one is a DW Home. I love DW Home. I always buy their candles. This one is Tricks and Treats. I almost didn't buy this candle. Um, it was $10 and I was like, I feel like it's kind of a lot. Like I feel like these used to be like $7.99, but it smelled too good. I wish that I could like hold this up to the camera and you could smell it. It smells amazing. It says rich, crisp, and spiced, but I don't know. I can't describe the scent. It's it's sweet. It kind of but it smells like a kind of like a bakery item, but not in like a fake way. Like I am not usually a big fan of like gourmand scents or however you say that. Um like whenever I see them at Bath and Body Works where it's like blueberry waffle cone or like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just those types of super sweet like bakery scents. I usually don't love them. This one is amazing. I feel like it smells kind of maple-y. It reminds me of spice cake. It smells like spice cake. That's what it smells like. <laughs> and I had a candle from Bath and Body Works called like Caramel Drizzle, Caramel Drizzle. And I feel like that's what this is reminding me of. Oh, it's like maple and spicy. I don't even know. It's delicious. So I had to buy that and I kind of wish that I bought both of them because I think there was two. And then I bought this candle, which is actually an Anthropology Capri Blue candle, which blows my mind that this was at tj maxx this is the brand that makes volcano if you're familiar um capri blue is the brand but this one specifically says capri blue for anthropology on the lid like it says it. i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it says it on the side and i think these candles are like 38 dollars normally something like that but 
Oh, this smells so good. This is spiced cider and this was $19.99 and the jar is so beautiful. I feel like the lighting isn't going to do it justice, but it's kind of like a mixed metal it looks it has like gold foiling on it but it also has like a metallic mirrored silver it's like crackly looking and it kind of has like an aged mirror type vibe to it and it's just so pretty and it smells amazing they had three of them there i bought one my mom bought one and we should have bought the other one too because it just like it's such a good candle i love capri blue and i love that scent i also love volcano volcano is like my all-time favorite scent i have the diffuser in our living room and i love it their candles are just really expensive so although 20 dollars is like a lot for a tj maxx candle for this one in particular it was a good deal next i got a few things from the target like dollar spot area i bought both of these these aren't really fall or halloween but that's the it's the seasonal dollar spot so um these are two little books they're like a chrome chrome is this chrome chrome like gold there's fingerprints all over it but i don't know what these are technically supposed to be it's a figure it's just a book figure but i thought this would be cute to put on my bookshelves as like a little decor piece i also bought the camera because i'm filming on a camera that looks just like this but yeah, I thought it would just be cute as a little decor piece. So these were $3 each. And then I also got this from Target. This was $5. This is, I don't know how you say that word, but it's like a little gold hand that's holding a little glass globe and i thought that this would be cute to put like a little like air plant or something inside of it it just was cute and i love that it was gold for my like fall decor just decor in general i usually stick to like neutrals i like it I, jarvis seems to like it <laughs> so um i think my style is more like like boho mid-century modern kind of vibes that's what i love jarvis I think he prefers more like modern sleek and modern and simple but i he he's not opposed to this style so um gold was a big theme for me neutral tones like um yellows wood kind of like brownie tones light pinks beiges that type of thing is like how our house is decorated so i wanted to have seasonal decorations but still have it like neutral if that makes sense so nothing like over the top or like neon orange or neon purple or whatever and we do kind of the similar thing for christmas so like for our christmas tree our ornaments are like mixed metals like silver gold rose gold light pink white um but we don't ever put like green and red like tree or uh, ornaments on our christmas tree this is what we like so um very neutral so i saw the gold and i was like this is perfect and it's low key it's like subtle <laughs> um then i got a few skull related items speaking of gold i saw this one and i thought it was so cute this was 7.99 i don't know if i said this was five dollars and these little scrubs were 5.99 i think i said all of that i think we're caught up on pricing but this was $7.99, which I thought was such a good deal. I love the gold. It's like kind of like a sparkly gold. It's just so pretty. So this is definitely more Halloween, which I'm going to do a fall decorate with me, which will be probably within the next week. You'll see that. I, I Like I said, Jarvis has to get the stuff out of the attic, but I'm going to do a fall decorate with me and then we'll like add the Halloween. There's like a fiber flying around <laughs> um we'll add the halloween stuff in october so september will be fall october will be halloween and fall and then um, november will be fall again i guess i don't know and then december is gonna be christmas and i'm so excited for vlogmas this year you guys i'm already planning video ideas if you have any vlogmas requests let me know in the comments please speaking of skulls i bought this tower of skulls and i am obsessed with it i don't think jarvis was as big of a fan but i loved it so much and i was so excited about this and it looks so cute with this skull you know it's like kind of the same but also not and this actually lights up 
It lights, you can't even tell, I don't think. But it has like red lights on the inside. So I'm not sure what it looks like at nighttime. I need to try it out, but I just thought it was cool as is. Again, very Halloween vibes, not so much just fall, but definitely Halloween vibes. This was only $20 from Marshalls too, which I thought was a really good deal for such like a substantial decor piece. Next, I got this, which is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I don't have the tag because I brought one up with me um, because I wanted this one in particular, but this one didn't have a tag, the other one did, and she didn't, I, she asked me if I wanted a tag, and I said no because I knew I wasn't gonna return it. But I don't remember how much this was. I wanna say it was like $7.99. It wasn't bad at all, so um, I thought it was a great deal. And this is gonna be like decor in our house like all year long. It's so cute. It just has this like kind of pompousy type stuff in a white jar. I just thought it was so cute and it definitely kind of gives off fall vibes, but also it would look great in our house anytime. We wanna get some shelves. Um, over like on the wall in the kitchen where our like clock is kind of by the dining room table if you're familiar with the layout of our house but yeah i think that could be cute over there or in the bathroom or i don't know we'll find a cute place for it then i found some other skull items first i found this one this is from the target like dollar spot this was five dollars and it's a little skull shaped jar and it has like an iridescent kind of look to it i don't know if you can see on camera but it kind of has that like purpley blue green iridescent glass and it's just like a glass jar with a lid and i thought it was so cute and again this was five dollars and then i saw this one at tj maxx and this was also five dollars and it's a lot bigger <laughs> if you can tell this one is just a clear regular glass this has the iridescent but i thought that they would be so cute together and it was only five dollars so i had to get it and they had a few different colors they had like a darker gray kind of glass and i think maybe one other one like a black one too of the big ones from tj maxx but i just went ahead and got the clear one we're coming down to our last few items this next one again isn't necessarily a fall decor piece but it was just so cute. It's a little rainbow. Isn't that adorable? This is so cute. Um, this was $14.99 from Marshalls. I am obsessed with it and um, I had to have it. I figured this could go literally anywhere. Like you can just tell that this is gonna look cute somewhere. I thought maybe it could go in the background, like my filming background or somewhere else i don't know but we're gonna find somewhere and we're gonna put it there and it's gonna be so cute i feel like 14.99 was like kind of a lot but still it's so cute next we have this candle here which is a little skull candle it's pink this was only 5.99 from marshall's um, I'll probably, I have these like hurricane glasses with sand in them. I always get questions on where they're from. You can find the glass containers from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. You can also find them at Target. I feel like you'll probably have like more luck, like guaranteed at Target because I've seen them there and you never know with like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. But I just use those glass jars and I put sand in the bottom. The sand is literally from the Dollar Tree. And then I put the candle inside and I think it looks nice and it also is like safer for the candle if something were to like crack or break or you know crazy stuff happens with candles and it just allows like a taller barrier so less likely for things around it to catch on fire and we just have always used those again it's for safety but also I think it looks nice and I used to have one in the background of my filming and I would get questions almost every single video asking where they're from. But I figured I could put this just in one of those hurricane, it's called hurricane glass, I think. Um, I figured I could just set it directly on top of the sand inside of the glass jar and light it. So that way it's just not like an open flame, not in a container. So um, I thought it was so cute and I might not even burn it like for a while, but it's just, I, I just, I loved it. And then I have this candle here, which isn't a fall candle, but this one 
smells like volcano. This is like volcano dupe. It's not from Capri Blue, but it smells identical. This is from Bella Lux and it's the sugared citrus candle. So if you ever see Bella Lux sugared citrus, they had a couple different containers with the same scent. It smells so good. This one was $7.99 and it smells amazing. I know I'm going to burn it. I'm constantly burning this type of like citrusy scent in our house. Um, but I figured once I burned this, I could save the little container and use it to burn like incense or sage. I just thought it was so cute. It's like a metal container. So I bought this. Hopefully it's like the scent throw is good because you never know. I've never tried a candle from this brand before, but oh, it smells so good. I am obsessed. And then I have one more thing to show you guys. And that is this. It's a little bouquet of like fake, fake and dried florals. I think that, I don't know if any of this is real or not. Honestly, I don't know. There might be some real sticks in there, but this was $14.99 from Marshalls. Here's what it looks like. It has little fake like berries and pumpkins along with some other sticks and stuff. <laughs> I think the sticks are real, but I just thought it was really cute and um, I wanted to get a vase for it. I saw a vase at Target and it was like a dark amber kind of colored vase and I'll probably go back and get it because I think it would be perfect for these and um, it was like a taller vase. I want to say it was like $25 or something like that. But I'm gonna probably go back and get that vase if I don't find another one and use that to put this in it and use that as like fall decor. I just thought it was so cute and I didn't think the price was too bad. And for like a faux floral type thing, I thought it looked like, not that it looks real, but it looked nice. Um, I know sometimes like faux floral stuff can look a little bit like cheesy, but um, most actually all of the plants in our house are real, which is a huge accomplishment for me. So like this fiddle leaf fig is real. This pothos is real. I have like several pothos plants. I have monstera, a little fiddle leaf fig, um, and more pothos plants. So <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm proud of my, uh, real plants, but I know it's not like, it's a hard thing to have a real plant. So if you have fake florals, I don't blame you, but um, I do try really hard to maintain the real plants just because it makes, I, I don't know, I just like it, I like it. It's just preference, but again, if I couldn't keep it alive, keep them alive, then I would be right there with you guys with the faux florals. You can find some really nice looking faux florals is what I'm trying to say, but this one I thought was in particular like good looking. So it's kind of like a dried floral look, even though it's not all real. So anyway, that's everything that I got at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and Target. Well, actually I did get some stuff from Target, some clothing. So I'm gonna do a Target try on haul again for you guys. I'm so excited, but um, I need to go to Target. I wanna go to a different Target and just look and see if there's anything else. I think I have like, four items. I think I got like four or five clothing items. So I just want to get like a couple more so that I can film a try on haul and have it be like substantial enough to film a video. But I found some really cute stuff and I can't wait to try it on for you guys and film another try on haul. But that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. Let me know what your favorite thing was from my fall. I from my fall, I just dropped my ring. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite thing was from this haul, from this fall haul. And uh, yeah, give me any recommendations on fall decor, if you guys have seen anything on, on YouTube or TikTok or Amazon or wherever. Let me know what you think I need. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.